Well, her husband took care of all the business. She says she didn't know what to do, didn't know who, what she was signing. All she knew is that she may have made a huge mistake. I feel like a fool. This is Juliet. Hey, Mo. And this is a guy Juliet claims fooled her into signing away her home. Did you trick her out of her house? No, not at all. His name is attorney Mosin Eid, and this is his deed. So do you feel like this Mosin guy took advantage of you? Yes, because he didn't tell me what I was signing. You had her quit claim a deed for $10,000 for that house. You know that house is worth a lot more than that. Of course. This is Juliet's house in Canton. She's lived here for 28 years, but last year, Juliet's husband died, realtor Cooper Brown. Typically in these instances, we're going to find that the husband's a sole provider, and when they pass away, a lot of these elderly women are stuck in a very difficult situation and don't know how to get out, such as foreclosure. Juliet's house has equity. Cooper and her agent partner, Armin Sharigian, told her she could sell her home, make tens of thousands of dollars, and move in with her sister. Yeah, I'm going to move in with my sister. She's alone. Her husband died, too. On August 26, with Juliet's daughter present, they entered into an agreement to list the house for sale. The asking price, $375,000. It was on the market for two months. We ended up getting the buyer's contract all signed and completed, and I had a feeling I had to get a second pre-title work done on the home. They found the quitclaim deed owned by Reunion Properties. So what happened? About a week after listing her home with Cooper and Armin, Juliet says Mo Eid just came to her door. Did he say his name was Mo Sin, or what did he say? I really can't remember. Uh, I don't even think he told me his name. He just came in and acted like, hi, I'm going to help you? Yes. Did he say, I'm a lawyer? No, he didn't say he was a lawyer. What did he say he was? He said he was a real estate you thought he was, you thought he was a real estate guy? Yes. This man, Mosin, offered her $2,000 on the spot, which Juliet needed. All she had to do was sign these papers, which Mosin didn't even bother to type up. Did you know you were signing away your house when you did that? No, I didn't know. Do you feel like this guy tricked you? Yes, I think he did. She was so tricked when the realtors told her they had a buyer for her house for more than $300,000, Juliet celebrated, not understanding what she'd done by signing that deed. It makes me sad and I, sh I should have known better. Armin filed a report with the Canton police against Mosin Eid alleging fraud. The cops took the report but said it was a civil matter. So the realtors filed a civil motion. But so far, the Eid deed is holding up. So who is Mo Eid? He used to be known as Mosin Masur, but he had his name changed in 2015 to Mosin Eid. It appears he was going through divorce proceedings with his wife, Dalal Masur, who also changed her name to Eid. Then they went through divorce proceedings again in 2018. Mo lives in this house in Dearborn Heights and drives cars registered to Dalal Eid. And Reunion Properties, the company he named in the quitclaim deed, has Dalal Eid as the registered agent. Mo's law office, a UPS drop box. Reunion Properties offices, a different UPS drop box. And this building with no sign where no one would answer the door. Someone calls the cops on me whenever I go by Mo's house, so I guess I gotta catch the guy at Walmart. Don't blink, there he goes. Rob Walchick from Fox 2, can I talk to you for a minute? Regarding? Uh, a lady named Juliet Long and her house. Excuse me? Juliet Long, isn't this your... A quick claim deed that you wrote yeah, up for her? Um, unfortunately, I'm in a hurry. Yeah, busy guy. Remember, he was in such a rush, he didn't even have time to type up the deed, nor find witnesses, or it appears, even bother to get it notarized. I was doing a transaction for my client, not for me. So just exactly, who is this client? Isn't that your wife's company? No. Whose company is that? Reunion Properties. And who's the owner of that company? 
you can look it up. I'm sure you can find it. Yeah, it appears to be your wife, like I said, Dalau, I'm, right? No, I'm sorry, it's not. Well, according to this paperwork, it is. Right on the sale agreement, it signed Dalal Lead, sole member of Reunion Properties. I don't know if that's his wife or ex-wife, but he is loading groceries into Dalal Lead's expedition. Reunion Properties was going to charge Juliet rent if she wanted to stay in the house. I sat with her in the afternoon, went and prepared the documents and came back, and she signed them freely and voluntarily negotiated the lease that she wanted to stay. Mm -hmm. She specifically addressed those points and that's why I had her initial them because I thought if anyone questioned, like it is obviously now, mm -hmm. uh, they would see, just like the judge just recently ruled, mm -hmm. that all her complaint and allegations that she made in that complaint are inconsistent with the her initials next to the uh, documents but that did she, she know what she was? Absolutely. And what proof do you have that she knew? Was there anybody because there? I, I was there to her, her and daughter I... there? Nope, just Mo and Juliet, who says she didn't even know what she was signing. She already had this, the home listed. She no, had already she signed not. with a realtor. That's not she true. Had... Looks true. Here's the agreement the realtors have with Juliet. Typed out even. And it's signed days before Mo's agreement. The agreement that had Juliet give up her interest in the house for 10000 bucks, of which she claimed claims she only got 2000 I was so upset that day. Everything was going wrong. A vulnerable 81-year-old lady alone on a bad day. How long did you give her to make this decision? She had a few hours. A few hours to give up a house she's lived in for 28 years. He ought to be ashamed. I didn't know what I was doing. I thought I was doing something so I could save my house. Hey, Mo, you're in the Hall of Shame. Now, Mohsen Eid promised he'd sit down and fill me in on everything. It never happened. He called me and told me his lawyer told him he couldn't talk. I emailed Mo to find out more about Dalal Eid, see if she has any comments. No response. We contacted Mo's lawyer, who told us the case is in court, and he has no comments.